with the hammer. Thank God it's finished. Oh, that was shit. That was shit. I mean, like, I don't know. I'm the schmuck, okay? I'm a, I, I, I always think Ross Lee Davis is like, I'm like, oh, oh, he's going to pull it out of his bag. Oh, yeah. Oh. It just, like the end of most of his plots, it just all completely falls apart. It just completely fell apart. <coughs> and it was dumb. It was just like, it was shit. Ah. Uh. Uh, and it wasn't just shit because, you know, shooting up was shit. No, it was shit because it was shit. Oh, it was shit. Uh, there's really not much to say. <laughs> it was shit. I mean, it really genuinely. Ge uh, um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go into more detail. And look, tomorrow night when I do my deep dive review with images. Oh, God. That's going to be awesome. Right? That's going to be crazy. Because <laughs> there was so much shit in it. You had, um, what was his name? The the uh, the kid on the, uh, the I like must want the most stupid characters ever. Right? That little kid on the uh, uh, Segway. Okay. He apparently has been packing machine guns in his Segway. And he's like firing at suit. It's so fucking shit. Oh, I mean, it's just embarrassing. How's it going down? Because I've, I've only just come online. How's it going down? Uh, uh, I can't imagine very well, right? I can't imagine well at all. It was I'm like, it was nonsensical shit. I mean, it's, like, it's like, why would you compare that to <coughs> the pyramids of Mars? Are you out of your fucking mind? <coughs> I mean, this was like low-level pap. And Pyramid of Mars is like the best Doctor Who ever. What, like, what? Fuck. It's, you know what it is? It's the arrogance of this production team, right? This absolute arrogance they've exuded all the way through the production that they knew better. Well, you don't. You don't. I am sorry. Whoa. Basically, every step of this era has been a disaster, right? I, you've got occasional oasises of, like, competency. Uh, I would say uh, Wild Blue Yonder, right? And you, uh, and also to a great extent, uh, The Giggle. Even though The Giggle wasn't very good, right? Uh, uh, but, you know, it was competent. I don't know, I yeah, without being lectured to your face uh, uh, constantly, which is why I stopped watching The Boys. I'm like, what? Why am I like boys? I feel I have no, you know, connection to. I like the first season. I thought the second season was a bit woke. Third season brought it back. I thought Gen Z was very good, right? But um, who was it? Like nothing. Uh, um, but this new one is like you know, it's just dripping with hatred of the dislike of the unlike, you know, of Trump voters, right? And, absolute disdain and hatred and it's just so silly i don't know for one side in this world to look at the other and go ha 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 you've been duped uh, i mean really did anybody believe that hunter biden's laptop was russian disinformation I, I guess if you did you were duped right i mean like and there's been a lot of things i find people who uh think others have been duped have been duped about over and over again and can be demonstrated so, right? Um, but like, <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, look, this whole area is just dripping with a hatred of British culture, where I would say the 2005 era was dripping with a love of British culture. There was a line in uh, TARDIS Tales of the TARDIS with uh, uh, Pyramids of Mars. Very good new effects, by the way. I thought they, generally speaking, were all excellent. Um, <coughs> so, I, um, yeah, and no, I thought for very good new effects, <coughs> but at the beginning, you have Shooty Gutwood talking about Marcus Scarman looting. I'm like, fuck off, you liberal fuck cunt. Yeah, uh, no, what Marcus Scarman, he's at the beginning, Kay Zanjani of uh, uh, Egyptologist, 
you know, uh, uh, on a dig in Egypt, right? And, uh, you know, he's... Um, he, he finds the tomb, uh, the tomb of Sutek. But, all right, look, this was to advance human knowledge, I believe, right? This was to... Uh, um, I mean, from their perspective, it wasn't to loot, right? And it's just such a shitty way of talking about your culture, right? I, I hated that. Like, uh, and then, you know, she was just weak and crying all the time. Uh, so this this episode, in my opinion, did not redeem him at all. He was not... Uh, I, he was not the protagonist, okay? Not the one, you know, driving the story forward, I would say for the first 20 minutes at least. Then when he does, it makes no sense and it's silly, right? I mean, it, you know, it's not a sly step into fantasy. This is just for one fantasy, right? I don't understand. This is called fantasy, all right? It, it's like it, there's like no rhyme or reason to anything, right? I, I Yeah, I think I think it's reasonable to call this fantasy. Because uh, uh, that's what it is. And, like, you have this, like, imagine the remembered TARDIS. They don't really explain that. And the Ruby Sunday's mother is just a normal woman. And that... Uh, uh, it's just dumb. Right? It's annoyingly dumb. I wonder if they shot the ending scene where he kicked uh, Ruby out. I don't know. I know, there's a lot to talk about, right? There's a lot to talk about. And also, Tales of the Tardis, where we'll talk about that. Again, excellent uh, new effects, generally speaking. The uh, disdain for British culture, not so good, right? I'm not, I, I can't say I'm a fan. There's, the way they defeat Sutek is ridiculous. It's just like, it's so dumb. I, I, it's so dumb. They like get him on a leash, essentially. And drag him in the TARDIS throughout all of eternity to bring death to death. So therefore they bring life. Really? I'm sorry, Harry Potter made more fucking sense. It felt more like it adhered to its own rules, Harry Potter. Right? This is just silly. What I was in the lowest range of the doctor? It's really not fair, Bonnie. Boy, does she work hard. Is she, a, I mean, professional and a hard worker, right? And then the shooting guy was. <laughs> you're probably just, uh, you're just not queer enough. I mean, like, his his voice just lacks all authority. Oh, shit. Fine, let's get to the chat. Catherine Fee is here. Catherine, well, nice and early. Uh, uh, went to the same drama school as David Tennant. How can this be? Well, I think. One was black and gay, and so we can't do anything wrong. And the other one's David Tennant. Star and Girl here's uh, uh, saying greetings. And she only dropped in, I think, to, uh, well, I've seen and heard some bollocks in my time, but this was a cheap recording contrived, uh, pathetic, bollocksy bollocks that really uh, takes the dog's biscuit. I mean, it, okay, it was nothing, right? It was, it really was less than nothing. You said on Titan 40 that uh, Titan made me think of Thanos. Uh, and I joked the finale will go full Marvel. Didn't there us to actually go uh, do a, Th a Thanos snap? Uh, um, yes. Uh, there's just so much shit to wade through with this. I mean, it really is. I think it shows how desperate Russell Davis is to legitimize the year by scrambling on the block backs of. Much more talented writer to use uh, Pyramid Nars uh, is unforgivable. Well, it's not just that. And again, in his mind, this is equal, right? He, yeah, yeah. Look, we've all seen uh, what? Uh, what's that show? Britain's Got Talent or the other, the music one, American Idol, right? Where you have people go on at the beginning and they could, they're convinced they can sing like an angel. And they're like, blah, 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 and they're awful. Right, same thing. Ross there. He he thought this was good, right? He thought, okay, look, here's like Ross there doesn't understand. You can't be queer and something else. Once you're queer, that's what you are, right? That you've limited yourself, right? You know, you can have like a queer detective, but mainly he's queer, right? You can have a a, a queer fireman, he's mainly queer. 
right? It's all about being queer. It's not about being a fireman. It's about being queer, right? It's always about being queer, right? Uh, uh, you have a queer Doctor Who, he's just queer, right? He fuck, fuck his Doctor Who, he's queer. Uh, and that's all that matters. We're like, oh, listen, John Pertwee, if he sucked uh, uh, Mike Yates' dick, uh, 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 I think Mike Yates might have been right up for that. Uh, up for that. Um, I think that would have fundamentally changed the nature of the show. I do, right? I do. I, and I think it would be a bit of a strange change as well. And it's also something that why do adults keep needing children to affirm their sexuality? Right? Just leave fucking kids alone. Fucked up weirdos. Uh, um, yeah, but it wasn't just a period when Miles was back on. Member bears everywhere with a remembered TARDIS, right? So that's what it was built for. I, I can't believe that that shit idea, which works much better for the rerun show that tells of the TARDIS they do, that, uh, than it did in the TV episode. It was like, oh. And it was so stupid as well. It was just like, he can now make it appear and solids. It's like, okay. Millie gives him a commando uniform. Very good. We agree there with your starters. You are correct. Right? Millie, I mean, you should have to, like, yeah, do jumping jacks. Run the spot. Yeah, I want you to be fit and ready to fight Sutek. So, you know, do some push-ups, darling. Slowly. <laughs> yeah, let's do some more training. How about some wrestling? Yeah, especially with your mum. Your mum look, look, looks okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, not your adopted mother. No, not the scroungers. No, no, the real, the, your real mum. Uh, uh, she looked pretty okay. Who was completely unimportant? Oh, God, fuck, it's so stupid. Uh, I mean, like, you tickled our balls, like, the entire, literally, throughout the entire thing. Oh, wait and see who Ruby's mother is. Oh, yeah. Oh, go tickle balls. Oh, you can't see the face. Tickle balls, tickle balls. Oh, pointing. Oh, tickle your balls, tickle your balls. And she's fucking no one. What the fuck? Oh, fuck you, Russell D. Davis. Uh, uh, Peter Rich says, the memory jars could have been the TARDIS that Idris and the Doctor built, and the Doctor could have uh, kept it as a lifeboat, but it was just not expected or established. It just was there. Because Ruby remembered it somehow. Because she's not special. Because her mother's not special. So who cares? How'd you make it snow? Because nobody's special. <sighs> so dumb. It's so dumb. Oh, look. This is the basic deal with what's wrong with the whole culture war thing. This series has been uh, propaganda saying, hey, kids. It doesn't make any does it's not a big deal if you're gay. And I agree with you, you shouldn't worry about it. It shouldn't be a big deal if you're gay. But fuck me. Yeah, one sexuality is like very, very core to one's being. And telling them that having a uh, uh, somebody who's in the three percentile uh, uh, is uh, as normal as somebody in the you know uh, uh, 97 percentile, that's setting one up for failure, right? It's weird, right? It's weird propaganda that doesn't really make any sense to me. Sometimes you just stop in what in one and go, wow, that was really bad, right? That's it. I mean, like your brain, like The Last Jedi, right? That's a good example. Your brain can't comprehend how bad it is, and that's basically so. That's why this is why it's a real time review. Because it's showing you, like, oh, what in real time. Uh, uh, Tyler Simon, what a shit series. What a shit end to what a shit series. Right? Uh, I, I do agree with you. I, again, listen, my big recommendation, if you like a bit of Doctor Who, head on over to Dr. Alex's channel. Uh, uh, he's got his own uh, uh, Doctor. It's, it's a Capaldi Doctor. How they get the, it continues directly on from uh, Twice Upon a Time, right? And uh, in a very... Uh, uh, organic way that's really enjoyable and feels like Doctor Who and is fun, and then leads into a uh, three seasons, right? The first season is like a traditional Russell D. Davis season, but what's interesting about it is it's very authentically Doctor Who, but it's also got uh, uh, Alex's voice, right? He's, he's got the voice of the characters, but the shape of the season is very much... Uh, it's a different view of Doctor Who, and that's that's something I've always enjoyed, right? I've always enjoyed that you know you have different creative minds looking at it and you, and they look at it the same different ways, but it's always the same thing, right? So that that's the same thing. I, I don't really think of this as Doctor Who. 
So head on over there. Now, the second season is all one story, and it's really good. <laughs> it's really imagine Peter Capaldi uh, uh, and a uh, Peter Capaldi and Romana, whichever Romana you, you want to imagine, like a future Romana. I would imagine Juliet Lewis, right? Peter Capaldi and Romana and K9, right? On a uh, Indiana Jones style quest in a corner of the galaxy where they're they're in like steampunk, uh, not steampunk. Uh, What's it called? Diesel punk, right? Diesel punk world with aliens, uh, uh, with with society modeled on like nineteen twenties England, <laughs> and it's like, and there there is a, like a whole uh, uh, Egyptology side to it, and it's so much better. There's no Egyptology in this. Uh, it's just like what, <laughs> yeah. Doctor Who is best when it's trying to be educational, and that's not trying to teach kids to suck a dick. No, that's teaching them about Egyptology. You know that. Awful thing that we did uh, uh, when we were looting. Oh, fuck you. Oh. I mean, the disdain, the disdain and the hatred for our culture is, is off the fucking charts, mate. It just is. Oh, it's like, oh, it's really disgusting. Oh, uh, like, why would you compare this? The Pyramids of Mars. It's just a bad idea, right? That's good. Oh, B is here. Poor Bonnie. She was always excruciating uh, in a first round of show, but I, uh, I I really liked her since her return. She's just so professional, right? Her big finish stuff is really good. But I really like how, like, the there were the, all the best bits were her. Like, when they walk in the memory side and she sees the, uh, uh, the Six Doctors coat hanging up, and you see, oh, this affection she has. That's really beautiful, right? Uh, it really, it really, genuinely is beautiful. It's, it's a really nice moment. Oh, poor Bonnie, poor Bonnie. Uh, she really was wasted in this dross. Oh, it really, it's, it's, it's very sad. Right, it is very sad. Let's talk about the uh, weirdly, right? Weirdly, that somebody had the uh, worst idea ever to put, connect, compare this uh, facile. Moronic Doctor Who to uh, the pinnacle of Doctor Who, which is the Pyramids of Mars, right? And, and look, this this to me shows that Russell C. Davis doesn't hate Doctor Who. A lot of people say, oh, Russell C. hates Doctor Who. No! He thinks what he's doing is very good, right? He thinks what he's doing is, is the dog's bollocks. Um, but uh, uh, it, 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 it's, it's like he's wrong. <laughs> He doesn't realize it's not very good at all, which is uh, a little bit unfortunate. Anyway, so here we have uh, uh, in the memories of it is Chuchi and Millie. I guess uh, Bonnie Langford's asleep on the other side of the room. <laughs> Let me just yeah, get out of it. The line he has before, oh, here it is. The line he has before he goes into the story is just the worst ever. But. No. No, the story doesn't start in Britain. It starts halfway across the world. Also, he's just so shit a big... He's just a bad doctor. He's a bad actor. I'm sorry he's a bad actor, but he is. Come on. In Egypt, where an Englishman was looting the tombs of the pharaohs. No, he fucking wasn't. I am sorry. No, he fucking wasn't, right? He was... Uh, uh, these were academics. Like, they get, they got, they got off on, like, increasing the, the, the complete knowledge of mankind, right, according to the Englishman. Right? The, I mean, like... Uh, uh, and was he wearing a black hat? I don't know. I don't know. Because uh, uh, he's shooting up. I don't... No. Oh, don't ask me weird questions. Anyway, uh, um... So then, by the way, the segue is the actual episode is excellent, right? That segue uh, 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 is really here. I think it's here. And disturbing the dead. But is that any, is that any footage? I can't tell. Was it just really cleaned up? Right, that's the original footage, right? I think that might be new. Uh, uh, so this does have new effects, which I think, generally speaking, are quite successful. Uh, Find and I think the edit, the edit has actually been uh, uh, is, is is pretty fair as well, right? 
is the uh, oh here the, the 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 so here they did one really stupid thing. Yeah, one second. Oh, is, it, uh, is it before this when he got the time tunnel going? Yeah. So the original one had... Which, okay, but the stupid thing is this. Yeah. This... Uh, uh, not not this image. Angle. This one, which is racing. See, has that, that disco background they got, which was identical to the Sutek, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, time tunnel. So I, they they were so stupid they didn't use that effect, rather you know than uh, uh, use it. I mean, like, that that would have really brought everything together. I think in in a, in a much more organic level. Uh, there was a lot of other I don't know, subtle ones. There's a good bit where they where they're looking for the the boundary. Uh, is it before? No, this is uh, before this or after this. I think it must be before this. Hang on, hang on. Uh, and there's this like, nice little glow when they uh, uh, fuck. Oh, it must be after this. Huh? Uh, right, so it was it. Ah, it was it. Right, go back a little bit. There's, yeah, this crazy thing. They're looking for the boundary, and they had they added effect onto this. Mm. You see that little like w wiggle? I mean, other, here's the thing you can do pretty much all this from your desktop nowadays. There we are. Now, what we've got to do is find the door. So, they have this nice effect as they go on. You see it the, the, where, where it touches. You see, it's uh, this nice, like, little bubble effect going on. No, so, and then when they find it, it's good. There's, there's a glow on this thing. But yeah, we see that a million times. Um, I think the biggest difference is really the uh, uh, the time tunnel. Oh no, you see, we just got yeah, there's also you know space shots, but where was the time tunnel? Yeah. Uh, immediately, it is understood, great one. So honestly, I thought this I thought was. Uh, I prefer the original, frankly, but I thought this was fine. I have no problem with it with, with the new effects. I guess we'll see it on the season 13 box set. Um, but why would you compare your dog? Okay, Pyramids of Mars is educational and intelligent, right? Uh, and has quite a, a reasonably complex plot. This is just stupid. Uh, okay, fine. So the tonight's episode. Let's do, do a recap of tonight's episode. Of Finally, um, where, where does it start? The oh yeah, hey. Okay, so last week we had a reasonably good cliffhanger where you had uh, Susan Twist had turned all like zombie, right? I was reaching out and I said, so "I bring the gift of death." I mean, I bring Sutex gift of death. Uh, and Doctor Lander go. Oh. Ah, oh, as a hand comes in, like, ah, oh, uh, oh, yeah, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, like that, right? It, it, that, and, and so we get the titles and it's still going on. And it's still like, ah, <laughs> I don't know what from here. Ah, uh, 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 I can't do it. Whatever. Ah, uh, bring Zuna's going to death. Ah, uh, anyway. Uh, they're, uh, <laughs> And, 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 so, and then his bell goes, drags him away, says, Doctor! And she's like, oh, and then Doctor says, everybody get away! Right? And, and meanwhile, she's still sitting, standing there, saying, ah, I'm evil now. Yeah, and nobody's moving, right? Okay. So then she says, uh, I bring Suta's uh, stands of death, right? Far less intimidating than gift of death, right? Gift of death had an arrogance to it, right? Like, like, like it had this, uh, uh, implication that Sutek believes himself to be way better than you, and probably was, right? Sands of Death is a is a um, uh, like a Marvel uh, uh, villain. Right? It's a, uh, so they blow, and all the sand comes out out, out of her hand, and uh, uh, it takes us, everything it touches dies. So the, again, Mel drags him along. Because he's too stupid to move. 
for some reason, right? Again, he's too shocked and amazed, right? So, uh, uh, oh yeah, and then then I forget it, back over at unit. You have Kate F. Stewart, uh, left with Stewart, and a useless unit, right? You have uh, uh, Lenny Rush. Is that Lenny Rush, the little kid in the uh, uh, in the moped? Not in the moped, on the Segway, right? So uh, uh, certainly the Segway. Somebody has thought to give this kid serious armaments, right? Like, what's he going to do when he gets horny? or just use it, uh, 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 and, he, and he's got this double machine gun firing away at Sutek. In the uh, uh, unit uh, HQ, right? Uh, right? Uh, uh, and it's just, it's just like, it, like, firstly, I'm irritating the kids there at all. That kid is shit. Oh, just super duper shit. But secondly, now he's an action hero. And in the background, Yasmin Finney is tapping away on her tablet. Like, what? How fucking useless are you? Like, why are you there? You're there to be a chick with a dick. That's it, right? You know, they used to say unit would investigate the strange, the peculiar, the paranormal, the unusual, right? Yeah, how much more fucking unusual than Neo? You've got this chick with a dick. Oh, oh. I'd love to hear Leffrey Stewart's take on that. Yeah, I see. Like, he comes back through a time tunnel. I think you've got a ship, ship, uh, uh, unit running here. I, I you've got a, a very. Interesting person. Now, tell me about this uh, uh, young lady. Well, oh, she has a penis, sir. What? Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> she's literally got this like, on her iPad for something like uh, uh, the flinks gets blown up straight away or whatever. I mean, like, they're firing at Sutek anyway. So then they all get consumed with the, um, uh, uh, what was it again, the sands of death, right? <laughs> So then it's Mel again who saves the day. And Doc's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm a pussy. I'm a pussy. I'm an effeminate male. I'm a stereotype. <laughs> Help me. And Mel says, there's nothing we can do but fight. Because Mel got, got it together, right? So they, they do. There's quite a good uh, chase scene through... Uh, where whatever town they're supposed to be in, London, wherever they are, where they're like running away from the the, the dust that's consuming everybody and killing everyone. Uh, uh, meanwhile, in uh, um, Unit HQ in the time window, all right, it's been uh, Ruby's there trying to see her mother. And it's been made to snow again, right? And the TARDIS is there. And they're not sure which TARDIS, what the, whose TARDIS that is. And the shooty shows up with Mel, and he just walks into the TARDIS, right? Well, when he did it to start with, no, this time he, did, he thought to do it, and it's the uh, memory TARDIS. What is it? We well, don't know. It's something about that TARDIS remembered itself, right? Uh, as well, as well, I think put it. Uh, Empire of Death is Rusty Davis trying to do Marvel and Endgame, Pyramids of Mars. Was like uh, Doctor Who Hammer uh, a far a, a far superior product? Yes, it really was. Exactly, they emulated the right thing instead of the wrong thing. By the way, interesting thought I had uh, uh, this Sabbath. There have been ten Planet Apes movies, right? You've got the original Planet of the Apes. Uh, um, there you got uh, Beneath the Planet of the Apes. I thought that was very good. Uh, uh, we got. Uh, Escape the Planet Apes. Again, I I, I kind of like that one. Uh, uh, I really like Conquest of the Planet Apes, and I love Battle of the Planet Apes. I feel the uh, uh, 2000 movie, a little bit shit, but that's number six. Then we got uh, Dawn of the Planet Apes, Rise of the Planet Apes, War of the Planet Apes, The Ring of the King, King of the Planet, all of them excellent. Only one shit out of ten movies. That's a good pedigree, and it survived wokeness. How is that? Right? How is that? Uh, um... Uh, best thing I ever did was to bail out back in 2017. Yes, it is. You are absolutely right, sir. It's clear it's been flushed down the toilet now. It's just, but they're going to keep making more. Oh, it's so shit. It's so unimpressive. Anyway, this was still the good bit. Up me. So um, they go in the TARDIS, and, it, and then Doc comes out and says, Oh, this is the memory TARDIS. We can. All you gotta do is remember, Ruby. You can do it. You can remember. And meanwhile, my uh, uh, 
her mother's pointing at her or saying in the recording, I won't get to see your face. There must be something supernatural. No, no, nothing at all. Um, the, 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 she remembers that was more. It's a memory title. She goes in with Mel and they escape Earth, right? And the doctor's all upset because, uh, I'm not sure. Did I, did I explain this yet? I can't remember. How, uh, uh, they, oh, they had Sutek talk to the doctor. And then, well, how do you survive? You, I saw you die, right? Uh, uh, I said, no, I found a new home, right? And I've been living in the TARD, around the TARDIS ever since, right? E ever since Pyramid Mars, I've been there, right? I've landed on every place with you, right? Uh, uh, and so he's appearing from every place he's ever landed. First, he makes a Susan, uh, a Susan Twist there, whatever bloody name is, right? And secondly, uh, he, you only saw the last name, but it's been on literally everywhere. Secondly, he's he's given his uh, sand. I, was getting, I keep getting the gifts of the sands of death. No, it's not nothing as good as the gift. It's just sands of death to every place he's landed. So there's a bit of cry because he's destroying everywhere over time and space and multiple time vortexes, whatever. Um, and uh, what's going down? And uh, 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 so yeah, so it's get how he survived doesn't really make any sense, right? He just somehow wraps himself around the TARDIS, okay, and then stayed undetected for like I don't know all the most of his like right for the next like twelve lives, fourteen like like and nobody noticed. Fuck off! It's stupid, Russell. It's stupid, Russell. Mind you, you know you. And by the way, whenever everyone is now dead. From the sea, sands of death, right? You, you even saw a scrounger, uh, adopted mother, look out of the taxi window being paid for by you, the taxpayer, right? Why can't you use a bus, you can't? No, too good for you. As uh, uh, the sands gobbled her up, they gobbled everybody up, uh, uh, especially Lenny Rush. I'm really glad they gobbled him up. Uh, and then what happened? Well, what happened? Uh, anyway, so then they're floating. Oh, God, this is so stupid. Oh, God, I forgot about this. Oh, fuck me. It's so stupid. So they're floating in time and space. It's a memory target, whatever that may fucking be. And he... Uh, meanwhile, the, the uh, Sutek has control of his TARDIS, and it's all red and glowy in there now. Oh, it makes so much sense. Uh, uh, uh so then, what happened? What happened? We got uh, uh, shooting, uh, fl uh, floating around in, in the TARDIS, uh, and they're, they're trying to think what to do, I think. They, they remember uh, Pyramids of Mars a little bit, uh, and Mel's in there. Oh, so Mel starts being uh, possessed by Sutek. Oh, yeah, and they got this magic rope there that looked like a bungee, that molecular bond. If you touches it, it's like it can't ever let go. Plus, he's got that the same as his magic glove, right? So, um, what happened here? One second. Uh, I won't put it on the screen, but I downloaded it. So if I if I like do that as an aid memoir, did it download? Oh, it's over here. One second, doing. Because I really can't remember what happens next. Hang on, hang on. I don't give a shit. Fine. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, how do they... There was no real connection. That was really weird, yeah. Um, so that... So they were... Uh, uh, was it... They, they end up going someplace or... Oh, yeah, so they end up going someplace for some reason. There's a nice woman there. And Shooty turns up there. And she can't remember everything. Everything's dying away. And take away. she said, I think I had a, pair, a, a daughter once. I think I had a husband. I can sort of remember him. It's Because everything's being it, it destroyed, right? Erased by death. Uh, uh, and she has one thing to give him. And she gives him a spoon. Uh, uh, okay, then. And then he goes away and she's consumed as well. So the spoon apparently is real metal, something that wasn't just uh, uh, put together by the memory targets, but like real, real metal instead. Oh, did this work? Did I just break this? Ah, kind of dead. Ah, oh, that's annoying. 
How do, I, uh, how do I fix this? I've got to glue this, I guess. I'll glue. Uh, is it, I wish Rossley Davis had the same care and attention to the bloody scripts. Come on, how do I get this thing off? Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, that's better. I'm just trying to add water to my iced tea. Come on, this is a, this is a tough job. Ah, oh, so well up to. Uh, oh yeah, so he's on this planet and she gives her a is a spoon. Right, and he's able to plug his food into a laptop he's made out of it. Not a laptop, a, a tablet he's made out of an old 1920s TV set by flashing his uh, uh, shitty sonic screw. And they just put a release a special edition of it for San Diego. I'm like, no one. But really? I can't believe anybody's going to flood to buy that. Man, those San Diego specials used to be awesome. Oh, man, character options used to be awesome. Now they're shit. Uh yeah, one sec. Let me kind of look at it any up. Uh um, I'll go over here, doink. I where is it? Where is it? Uh we go. Doctor Who Toys dot com or was it dot net? I think you got the whole section for a uh, uh, five-inch list. Who were she called? But they, 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 oh, they don't say what's what. Because uh, some of those exclusives were really, really cool. Like now, it's just oh, garbage, right? Absolute garbage figures. Maybe it's over here. Oh, one second. Is it... Uh, Forum news, I don't know. Box sets, waves, maybe waves. I don't know. See if I can find anything. I can't. If I can't, I'll, I'll, I'll give up. Oh, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on wave one. We'll do deluxe. Let's see what deluxe is. Our deluxe was. I don't know what the deluxe ones. I had the. Uh, I still got it. The Ragnos, the uh, uh, face of bow. What are the box sets? I'm looking for the more more recent ones. Uh, oh yeah, no, oh, no, these are too recent. I can't, I can't bloody find them. Anyway, I remember they did some very good set. Oh, they had, that was the one where they had the six Doctor in the blue outfit. That was a good set. There you go. This was a San Diego exclusive. Ah, oh, this one over here, which I was really happy to get because I really didn't like his main outfit. There you go. That was a San Diego exclusive. Anyway, I digress. Now, it's ridiculous. Anyway, what was I? Oh, sorry, I was so much. So he got he gets a spoon and it's able to power his uh, TARDIS laptop thing. And oh, so then they have a destination to go to. And again, you can tell in 73 yards that they cut out something, right? That they cut out like that's like really, really kind of integral to the episode. Why? Because it didn't go anywhere. And what was like? What was the threat of uh, Roger Aquilum, right? How was well, he? So it seems to be okay, quite frankly, from everything we saw on screen about him. So I theorize they cut something out from that because it was, they were scared of being uh, accused of being too woke because they saw how bad the demographics were going. And believe me, it has not been going well for them. Like th this, th this era, this season has been nothing but a disaster for them. Right, whatever they try and spin it, they're lying. Right, this has been an absolute desire, and quite rightly so. I am sorry, you can't put your queer ideology into fucking everything all the fucking time. Sometimes you've got to give it a bit of a rest, darling. I mean, you really do. Sometimes you just need to give it a bit of a rest. Oh, I've got more rabbit than fucking Sainsbury's about this shit. Enough. Fuck enough. All the time. Quick, 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 quick. Why? Why do you need children to validate adult sexuality? All right? Be whoever you want to be. Because yeah, then, sending adults is, is what Skeletal does. It's fine. It's not my business. Leave it alone. Uh, anyway. So then, oh, yeah, so they know. The, so anyway, there's this bit that they clearly cut out where he's trying to do a DNA, mandatory DNA registering for all British citizens. Uh, clearly, it's supposed to be some racist thing. Uh, so anyway, 
So then uh, uh, they go to that year, 2046. Like, How do you know about him? And I just don't. Oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, it doesn't make sense. Don't even try and work it out. Uh, uh, and you go there and because they don't remember 73 yards. It's like yesterday's Enterprise, just not as good. Um, so they go there. And what happens? And Sutek sell. They go there to get the records. And they, I think it's a Sutek there. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, they get they kidnapped and take, take them to Sue Tech, and it looks like, and, and yeah, she's got uh, oh, so they, they have a clever plan between them, right? Uh, Shooty and Millie, right? Shooty, uh, Doctor and Ruby, right? That uh, Ruby pretends uh, she's about to hand everything over to Sue Tech because like, Sue Tech, oh, yeah, this is why. Oh, fuck this, I'm so stupid. Given where this went, this is so stupid. The reason they're still alive is Sutek wants to keep them alone because she doesn't know, uh, Sutek doesn't know who Ruby's mother is either and why, because she's like, it makes it snow or something. I don't know. I may be making that up, right? But he, so he has to know about the mystery of her mother. Oh, it's so mysterious, right? So she goes there uh, with a uh, uh, thing. Oh, did the thing stop downloading? Okay, but she goes to her with their uh, laptop things. I got all the answers here. I'll give it to you. Just let the doctor live, right? He's got the doctor. Uh, uh, and he's about to give it away. She drops it on the floor and smashes. At that time, she then hooks this rope that we saw opened uh, we saw earlier around Sutek's neck, right? And, and because he and Shooty, because he's holding the glove, is able is with uh, is like manically bonded, so he's able to drag Sutek and connect to the TARDIS. So then he takes Sutek. Like a Scooby Doo villain, right? It's so, st it's, oh God, it's so watching. It's so hard watching this. It really is. Like traveling through time and space, bringing his gift of death to everyone, right? Bringing his gift of death to his gift of death, therefore bringing life, right? Oh, I'm cringing. I'm literally cringing as I'm telling you. Oh, there's a reason I'm cringing. Uh, it's because it's it's so stupid, but it gets stupider. Amazingly, I like really. You all think oh, that's as dumb as it gets. No, no, it can get a lot dumber. Uh, uh, so now they got Sutek dangling outside the door Rah! as a throw through the of vortex. He's bringing his gift of death to death, bringing life to everything. Every coming back to life. Uh, uh, and they basically win, and that's it all. Now I've got to be a bad person. Oh, I've got to be stuff. And, and so he closes the door on the TARDIS, and he so like is lost in the time vortex. And we got like a good 20 minutes to go. I was like, what, what's going on? How long do we have to go on this? We have 15 minutes to go, right? So next is a uh, uh, Lenny Rush has worked out the, uh, uh, the mother. Uh, uh, Miller's mother, and uh, she's just a normal woman, right? She's just as like normal, like, it's so stupid. She's just, and, that, and that's what made her abnormal that she was unnormal. That's why there's a big storm around her because she made what was what it makes no sense. It's just dumb, but there was nothing interesting about her at all in any way. Right, uh, um, like genuinely not, uh, 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 and, and that's what made us super interesting. So finally, they meet and they have a bit of a cry, and, and you go, "Yeah, I'll go for that threesome." Uh, and they um, then they meet the scrounger uh, step parents, uh, uh, adoptive parents, and there's a little scene where Shooty says, "You're gonna go, you can go now. Your story's ended." Oh, and then here, finally. Uh, Joe, Joe, during this thing, you have Anita Dobson uh, has, like, um, uh, 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 has this, like, it's like, oh, it's such when she's about to be eaten by the, uh, um, what's it called again? Eaten by the, uh, the, uh, the Dutch. Oh, I had such great plans. Well, now we're going to see your God. And I was like, what? What's going on? This is all too weird. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see if I. What's the. Uh, 
Then it ends with this really weird postscript, right? This really bizarre, weird postscript. This, oh, here it is. Let me download this. Which is like, what's going on with it? I, I mean, I, I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't think, I think all their creative juice was about having it be queer. I don't think they, they remembered to make it about Doctor Who at all, right? Not at all. And anyway, look at the ending bit. Oh, I just realized I got a file here. We could have looked at the internet. Never mind. Here we go. Doink. Share screen. Share screen. Doink. Oh, I pressed the wrong thing, did I? Share. Here, what's it? Present video file. There you go. Ah, doink. But life goes on, doesn't it? Ruthlessly. And what happens, you might wonder, oh, what happens to that mysterious traveler in time and space known as the Doctor? I'm sorry to say his story ends in absolute terror. If, it, if his story ending in terror, is this happening to Doctor Who? Is it, uh, uh, like, becoming queer and weird? Night, night. Yeah, will, uh, will Doctor? I mean, this Doctor will return. Will real Doctor ever return? I guess when AI makes us be able to make our own stuff, right? Let's have a look at uh, what the reaction's been. Doctor Who. Let's see uh, some of the uh, the news articles are go going down about this. Uh, so yeah, it, this wasn't very good. I, I had to break this down. This wasn't very good. Uh, good reviews straight away. This brings millennial emotion. Oh, God. Last thing we need is a millennial bloody emotion. Will you stop? Uh, date. Doctor Who fans, Rachel. Worst finale ever. Uh, Julie, wow. That's not doing well. Fuck me. Uh, I don't know what actor voicing. Uh, no. Doctor Who fans, Slime Barks and uh, I say that Ruby Sunday's reveal was a real letdown. Oh, this is going very badly. What the hell went wrong? Uh, say, Doctor Who fans, they hit with, out with... Okay. Wow, it's really getting slaughtered. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> uh, see, Radiant Charming Steve says, Steamy Kisses. Judy Gut was is the new Golden Age of Doctor oh, It's awful. You behave. Oh, it's awful. Uh, uh, Dobson, uh, man, it's getting roasted horribly. Ah, uh, uh, also, let's have a look there. God, no. New York Times, you leave me alone. Oh, you think I'm going to have to log in to see this shit? Fuck you. New York fucking Times. Uh, uh, um, Doctor Who fans rage over worst season finale ever. No, I'm sorry. Uh, the Battle of Uncle Flo Flunkler, the first Jodie one was way worse. You forget, you forget. Uh, Doctor Who's uh, Judy and Millie Gibson will be back for a second season. No, it won't. Uh, uh, one will. Uh, eh, put on an episode, blah blah blah, episode open, blah 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 blah, remember blah 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 blah. Okay, let's see what people let's say. Oh gosh, Millie looks hot. Millie looks hot. Uh, okay, fine. Here we go. Uh, I underscore Coast of Fumes. I think it was uh, this reveal was very underwhelming. It was built up so much. Yeah, uh, led to so little. I can't. I oh, sent me another message. I got to check this out. Uh, doink. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Oh, fine. It, it's generally doing badly from what I can tell. Man, it is doing badly from what I can tell. Where am I up to? Fine. Uh, doink. Uh, so, uh, how on earth did this, uh, 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 did it make 
make it snow if she was just human. I, that, nothing makes sense. Because Dr. Dan also commented, uh, first 24 minutes I really enjoyed. I thought the first 20 minutes weren't bad. The rest, I thought, uh, it didn't really sit right. Performances were brilliant, though. Production, well, the shooting was not very good. Production wise on the edge of my seat, but the uh, like, I mean, no wonder Russ been hyped this non bloody stop because it was shit. Oh, I'm a, it's a shame there is an episode after this so we get the effect of how shit this was. Uh, Doctor was so boring, the entire storyline, Ruby. Uh, yeah, look, it's not going well. <laughs> was it Radiant? Oh, god, no. Yeah, uh, is a new golden age. It's literally useless and hated by all. This is what the guy has to say. Uh, season one recap. Season one for now. Is it recap or review? That's a question. Uh, Jenny Garden and he went full Nietzsche. Uh, bad not with the monsters, lest you become monsters. Well, that's really. You know, the has always been the thing at the heart of Doctor Who. It's like it's a bit, uh, um, yeah, exactly. It's like you know, to battle monsters, you've got to be a monster to a certain extent, and yet, oh, be incredibly moral. Man, I want to watch Pyramids of Mars, not this. Uh, in a universe destroying whirlwind of an episode that rolls around family time and memory, Sutex undoing in the end relied on having become obsessed with the uh, origin of Ruby Sunday. Which apparently is nothing at all, which will played out across the season, which result with a mother just being an ordinary woman who had given up a child to as a as a vulnerable fifteen year old mother, a million cl- a complex social media families. Well, it's just stupid and boring. The fact that Mem- 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 was being lashed together with intelligent rope was funny, uh, but it was nice to see it used for. Uh, links in the TARDIS cells. I agree. It was that that was the best use for it, right? Uh, it's the way that uh, the major show complete with vintage props costume. It was so member berries. Remember, member, we're still the same doctor. You're not. You're queer. You can't be queer and something else. It's all about you being queer. The story of a queer bartender. It's about him being queer. Story of a queer writer. It's about him being a, uh, being queer. It's always about being queer when you're queer. Because it's, like, it's doctor. It's just about being queer. Oh, plus he was very good at being the bloody doctor. You know. Um. Okay, remember to, uh, so much of the story was about the time and memory. It felt appropriate setting where it echoes the my memory of the alternate timeline seventy three yards. Uh, played a role in the resolution. No, not really. Not really. Oh, is he in here? Where are you? I thought. I thought. I thought. I thought. I saw Rebecca Gold. I might be wrong. Uh, God, did you call it bad? Did you call it? It'll be that bad. I don't know. Uh, uh, but wasn't there a scene where Millie showing off her face, uh, showing her bare feet? I thought that. Well, that was a good. That that was awfully. Uh, uh, uh that was quite. What's I going to say? Uh, uh, invigorating. Uh, we're about to with this. Uh, tell me that less appropriate were the strange interlude where the doctor met the kind of woman who came from a spoon. That was so stupid. Oh, fuck. Hype for the uh, hype net backwards and forwards, and it was just stupid. Uh, in a look and feel, it was like the most chipotle era throwback of the whole season, a dreamlike segment that didn't even connect with the main narrative. Exactly. There was one criticism of structure. It would be Sutek meeting his demise too early. Yes. Leaving the overlong family soap opera coda. Yes. It may have been uh, scheduling uh, Legend Ruby Sunday Emperor Devil as a double bill and Space Base double calls were open uh, the series. It would have served the pacing matter. Yes. That I agree. But again, they should have dropped it 7 o'clock Saturday night uh, UK and it'll be 2 o'clock in New York time. It'll be perfect. But Disney, we don't drop things on on the uh, only on that on the other times. That why not? You could try. It's yours. You could do what you want. Look, don't tell me I have more capability as a YouTuber than you as a Disney, right? It will own the platform, really. The season by Ruby Sunday go and greet her birth mother, Faye McKeever, in a coffee shop against the Doctor's advice, characterized as headstrong. But I don't care. She had nice tits. That was it. 
Uh, there was a doctor outside the cafe alone. His foundling staff is still a mystery to him. Oh, who cares? Granddaughter out there somewhere. Who cares? He wants Ruby that her mother has 7,000 days to find her as a tribe. That's just horrible. Jesus. Nice. I don't know. I just, I don't like this. How many centuries uh, has he had but failed to return to Susan? He doesn't need to. They, uh, like, well, whatever. Anyway, a big finish they have. Somewhere in one sentence. Uh, one of the times people find a secret of their foundling status, while the other one becomes a monster to bring down a monster. Okay, boring. Uh, life of all the times, there may have been, uh, there may have seen a big goodbye between Ruby, uh, but the people of season two was there, uh, to see, uh, see more of her. This was reshot for that back in April when the BBC announced that, uh, Verada Sifu was joining the cast of Quentin and Rusty Davis was, uh, right now in the studio shooting for 2025. We got Shooty, Millie, and Verada fighting. So, yeah, I understand she comes back, but I don't believe you, Russell. I think you're a a fibber. Fibby, fibby, fibby. Too many fibby, fibbies. You seem like a fibber. Uh, we do all three because the stakes are that. Oh, fuck off with your fucking high. Whoa, we need that because the stakes are high in there. I don't fucking care. Uh, fear factor. That this exists. Uh, some stakes were taken out this week's episode too early on. However, once the waves of recurring supporting star met their sandy deaths uh, by Sudex minions, it seems obviously there will be, has to be a great res uh, reset at some point. I mean, this actually could have reset uh, Flux as they thought about it, but they didn't because it's stupid. Um, uh, wait, 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 I get it really just, uh, just as once, everybody lives as the night stops uh, observed. Uh, the scene with Sutek being dragged through the time vortex did make him look like an evil incarnation of Scooby Doo, but one of the most powerful with his doctor ever. It was just stupid, right? But the uh, fear factor was well and truly delivered by Bonnie Langford. She generally chilling when she played portrayed the 19th uh, male slowly slipping under Sutek's power. That was actually very good, right? That was good. Uh, Mr. Gretchen, Gat was for uh, Saw Season, ended with uh, Mysterious Mrs. Flood. These are Dobson's Mrs. Love breaking the fourth wall in a wink about the TARDIS. This ending uh, went even further with her dressed up as a white witch of Narnia, cosplaying Mary Poppins. Uh, closing the series with narration made it sound like a storybook begs uh, more questions, but it since the Doctor encountered the toy maker in the giggle, uh, not least of which, who is she? I don't care. Smooth. Okay, stop. Ah, uh -huh. it's doing my head in, mate. It's doing my head in. I can't. Well, uh, it was quite a nearly good shot there, Millie. Nearly good shot. Uh, Millie Gibson, you were right. You you should be grateful for getting out of this garbage, honey. This has been what such a disappointing season, right? Like, oh. is it worse than Jody season one? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, in certain ways, yeah. I still think it's probably the worst season of all time. Yeah, I think so. My name's Vila Beck in the Rabbi from Another Planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.